up and away from your fight in the news, sad news of a good friend of yours, Nick Blackwell, was he hurt against Chris Eubank Jr. We're hearing good news about it, but your reaction to that, I know you watched the fight, how did you kind of see it on the night? Uh, a cut, I mean the, the, the swelling in his eye was a blessing really. If, if the doctor and the ref would have pulled him out, then they would have let him carry on. So, that swelling is a blessing. But this one's a bit hard. It's, hor it's always horrible when stuff like this happens in our sport, right? It's a bit horrible for me because I've done hundreds of rounds of sparring with this guy for the past couple of years. And I've crossed him out with my friend, so uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit more difficult. But like I said, things are crossed, we're hearing good things, right? Mm. Coming out that it looks like they're going to take him out of his home. So, uh, yeah, man, fingers crossed then. Okay. All we ever hear is that he's such a nice guy, a good guy to be around. You obviously know him well from sparring. What's he, what's he like in the ring? Oh, in the ring, he's actually, he's a handful. He is. But what I'm saying is, in the ring, in the sparring, he wears 60 ounce gloves, head guard, he can take a lot more. And it's different. But, uh, a, he is a gentleman. Honestly, he's a handful. He's done a couple of hundred rounds fine in a handful. Yeah, yeah. I think it could have been stopped there. Yeah? He was taking punches, but he was, he was kind of always in the fight. You know what I'm saying? He was getting beat. He was in it. So I was there going, oh, I can't do it. Yeah, but uh, he, was, he, did, he did take a lot of shots. You can't, you can't take that kind of punishment and expect to come on later on in the fight. You could, you could drain, you're wounded. You can't fight that. But it was good to see the, the level of kind of assistance that was there yeah. straight away when it happened. So they yeah, sort of safety, straight away. The health and safety of the sport in this country uh, standards are high and we've uh, quite a lot. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Do you think obviously now's the time to let him get better, let his family kind of value around him? Do you, yeah, do you have to go and see yeah. him at some point? It's an important time for him and his family. Like, give them, give them privacy. I don't want to invade their space. And I wouldn't see them that well. It's, it's not my it's, it's not my time just yet. But it's a really good thing. Hopefully, he gets better, and uh, hopefully, I'll see him soon.